coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. To be at home, to put in your own food plots, to hang your own stands, put out our ground blinds, do the research, do the study, try to create that little habitat. It's home and you're hunting and you just, it's what our choice lifestyle is all about. Hey, welcome to this week's show. And this week we're in Northwest. No, 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 we're no, no, we're in Illinois. No, we're not in Illinois. No, no, yeah, we're in Illinois. Okay, we're in Illinois, but they're but, not around the house. No, not around the house or anywhere in northwestern Illinois. All the deer migrated south. They're, they're way south, or they went over the border. So, okay, yeah, we're not okay. So no, about. hey, welcome to this week. You know what? We're gonna be hunting, bow hunting whitetails in Illinois. 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 We'll just leave it at that. They don't need to know, do they? No, do no. They? Backyard no. bucks. Got lots, no, sh no, don't say oh. backyard. Oh my oh, gosh, no. why would you do that? I don't that? know. Okay. Welcome to this week's show. This Illinois. Central Illinois, Southern Illinois. Illinois. Eastern Illinois. Illinois, that's where we're yeah, bow hunting. Yeah, okay. White tails. This week. I love putting in our food plots. This year we had RJ. RJ was getting into it. And I, I mean, all of this together is a com combination of what brings this to success. And when I say that, you know, luck is about 90% participation. In other words, the more you put into anything, the more you're gonna get out of it. Yes, you wanna be in the right place at the right time, and there's luck to that. But if you did your work prior to it, those odds increase. One of the things that's the hardest part about what we do, we don't have big tracks of land. No. We have small pieces, small parcels. But one of the key things that has made our deer hunting more successful has been we put some of it, we call it kind of like a sanctuary. Yes. We don't go in it. We give them five acres, 10 acres, and, and we don't go in it. It's a thick piece of the timber and we leave it alone. And we created habitat in there. We have a water hole. We have, you know, we, we downed some trees. We, we did the things that, that you would want to do to create habitat, but also security, and we don't hunt it. Now, for a lot of people, they pay taxes on the land, like, no, I'm hunting every single square foot every of this. Time. The problem is, when you do that, you have the tendency to bump them out. If you bump them out, guys, I'm telling you, you, you just won't have what you see or what you dream of. So the bottom line, even if you have five acres, shut a part of that down, and say, listen, I'm not gonna do it, but create the habitat inside there, you will be amazed at the difference. We are starting to get some good, good spy point camera photos of two good shooter bucks on, one of our, on, on, on our farm here. And what we're gonna do is we got, it's sleet, it's like a rain, windy. We're gonna use this day, this opportunity, to get a new setup. What we're doing is we'll come in from the corn side, walk in, and we don't contaminate hardly any area, and we'll pop up right, right in this cottonwood. And I mean, I think it's gonna be a good setup, we'll see. With everything in place and all preparations complete for the season, it's time for Ralph to hit the stand in his own backyard. There's something about being at home, you know, and, and I mean sleeping in your own bed mm -hmm. and being able to still hunt and, and right. you know, when you hunt where you live, right. you, you sort of, I think you have more time to pattern, you have more time to be selective, and sometimes I think it works against you. Because then you're like, well, should I go sit this stand? Should I sit that stand? That's the thing I, is, is oh, there's you, options, and then you, you keep checking our spy points. We're out there, we're putting up our cameras, we're trying to figure it out what's going on. And then this year we had that live, the spy point link camera out there, where if it you was guys have sending never us done photos. That, so I'm oh. sitting in Iowa, and I'm seeing deer that are showing up in Illinois where he's hunting. It was insane. Yeah. It was really cool though. And I'm going to tell you, it's it's more affordable than ever. Right. And it's just a blast. I mean, and then off season, right. you could use that whole system as a security system. So if you're out, go somewhere, you get a photo. Of, you, yeah. I mean, it's a no brainer. But I mean, by by taking our spy points and putting them out everywhere and checking the cameras and figuring out where we're seeing movement and stuff, 
But then we were having like multiple good movement areas. And then it was like, and then you play that mind game. And yeah, just go, you play. Okay, where are we gonna go? And don't change your mind. Once you make your mind up, don't change it because you'll regret changing your mind. First intuition. That's right. Follow it. Well, it's about 8.35, and I just got a text that Chris from NAP is on his way over. That's like a two and a half hour drive. He's got a new arrow rests that he wants Vicky and I to see and to try out. So our morning hunt, our first morning hunt this year is actually pretty much over because I gotta get down. And um, <laughs> head back to the man cave, and Chris will meet us, and, and our lives are crazy. What I love about being home is it's home. You know, you're, a you're able to crash at your own place. It means a lot. You know, we've traveled 30 years you know, doing this, whether it was for the videos, for the DVDs, or for TV, and, and to be at home, to put in your, food, your own food plots, to hang your own stands, put out our ground blinds, do the research, do the study, try to create better habitat, it's home, and you're hunting, and you just, it's what our choice lifestyle is all about. We got the Traeger going with fresh Illinois corn soybean fed white tailed deer tenderloins yeah baby oh my goodness the season continues ralph and rj hunt long and hard daily they witnessed a host of critters, but no big bug. Vicki returns from Iowa and joins in on the action. While the Ciancerillos have had a few close calls with some bucks, no clean shot opportunities at a mature whitetail has arisen. Determined to keep hunting, they are now far from throwing in the towel. Boomer and Sparky, on the other hand, are ready for a nap. As the morning rolls around, Ralph hits the stand for another day of hunting. Rattling antlers in hand, he lets out a short series of rattling to hopefully lure in a mature Illinois buck. I did realize that we were set up for that buck to come from a different location. <laughs> and here he comes and he's gonna be on the downwind side. We knew that I had to, I, we had to make the shot prior to him getting in that, that scent zone.
You know, us hunting alone is one thing, but we're, you know, your camera guys, your field producers, they're up with you. They're normally up early. Well, maybe not our guys, no. But I mean, I mean, they're up early filming, getting their equipment ready. You're up getting your hunting gear ready. Y'all go out together. You spend all the hours, and I mean, so don't. You know, there's too much egotistical stuff going on today, and they do not give credit where credit's due. And it's a team effort to make all this happen. And all of us as a team made it happen right here, back home in Illinois. We who live this lifestyle, and it's all of us out there, know what rejuvenates our soul. And people that don't do this don't understand it. Think that we're out here in a barbaric situation, you know, just not caring about the outdoors or the habitat or the wildlife. They are so far removed from the actual truths of why we hunt. And, and you know, we preach to our own choir, and that's sad. But the reality of it is, is we have to stick together. We have to stick together to continue this lifestyle for the youth. Because there's two ways of going. The wrong path or the right one. And I can tell you, if you can get your children involved in the outdoors and living the hunting and the bow hunting and just, you know, the outdoor lifestyle, that path is clear. Hey guys, you've probably seen these at the hardware stores or maybe even Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops. Um, and they're just these little wire foamy things. This is an excellent, excellent piece of equipment to wrap your rattling horns. And I mean, it weighs nothing. And you could twist them tight. But the big thing is, it stops that noise. I hate these rattling and going, that's why so many people don't like regular rattling horns. But I love them. I love these. The Pro Defiant hits the ground. Nessa, we are grounded. You could see where he's running hard right in that mud. And then you see the splatter of blood up on the corn. That's what you're looking for. Look at, boom, 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 boom. Look at all the blood here, holy cow. There's no doubt in my mind, you know, when you release that arrow and you know it's a, or e even if you squeeze that trigger with, the, with your gun, you, you know a good shot to a bad shot. When I released, I knew it was a good shot. <laughs> and I mean, you, the blood trail from that Spitfire, well, let's just say Michael Angelo couldn't have painted a better portrait. Oh, look at this, here you go. Well. There's my other part of the arrow. Look at this, guys. Look at, look at. Look at that. Right here, went back over here, here. Look at this. Hey. There he is. Look at that, pretty awesome. Wow, he broke off here, there, there.
Look at the beam length. He didn't suffer. Boy, he's rotten too. He's smelling good. I told you he was a shooter. I have never seen a buck. Well, no, it's indicated. I thought it was cut off straight. Shane was in the area, so we, we were texting back and forth because he wished he was hunting today, huh? Yeah. But look at that, you know what I'm saying? Look how that's broke. Our game warden was right in the same area, and Shane and Steve and Ron, they're all hunters, which is really cool. But Shane was actually like just right down from our house. To have him come in and just share with it, man, that, that was a, a special moment. And I mean, at the end of the day, you know, guys, our game wardens are on our side. You know what? Without them, it would be total anarchy out there. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all your service and all you do for us, as well as all of our first responders, our police, and I mean our military. God bless you all. Ralph recruits RJ to help load up his buck. The father-son team puts the Yamaha side-by-side -side to good use as they bring the 10-point back for processing. Nani even gets to enjoy the harvest, which is all part of the memories created that will last a lifetime. There's, Congratulations. Thank you. I'll tell you what, there's something about staying home and just, you know, being able to, to be at, not, no, not at home. You're not at home. No, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, what was you I know, thinking? But honestly, you um, were, were kind of uh, close to home because yeah, we you were, were playing Mr. Mom for a little time there. Yes, yes, and then you know. I drove hours to go hunt for the uh, day and uh, yeah. then I, I yeah. came back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what, but honestly, it is nice at home in Illinois oh, to yeah, actually it is. just to be able to go out there and just connect. You know, and we're Beautiful kidding. You, I, I want you yeah. to understand. We're having fun with it because you know when you start talking about an area right. and if you're you know things are happening, all of a sudden it's like everyone's there. So so yes, we hunted somewhere in, in Illinois. Illinois. So you know what? This was like year 17 though for us here on the show. That's, I mean, that's insane. That's insane. 17 years of coming to you in your living room and now we could come to you like, you know, on so your many phones and iPads. So many this different is ways. crazy stuff. What, what, I mean, just technology. Technology, wow, mind blow. You know, the bottom line here is, again, we want you to understand that we do not take you all for granted. We don't nope. take our sponsors for granted. This is, we are so blessed to do what we do and be able to do it for as long as we have done it. You know, we've lived the, the, the slogans, real people, real hunting, real adventure. Choice lifestyle. Ch ch and the reason we, we go with the choice lifestyle, folks, is because we have many choices in our everyday lives. And we have to choose to try to prioritize and make the right choices. Right. And the choices today are not necessarily about us. No. It's about our future, our children. To get the kids involved in the outdoors, to get them to understand it, to respect it, to appreciate it and not take it for granted. This is how we live 24 seven. And to count our blessings every day in there. Every the single big day. guy up above, the big Lord above. Because without him, None of this is possible. God Thanks bless for you.